break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captives. Captives are ruled. Captives are ruled. We're going to break in pieces captives are ruled. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom have dug against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended, revenge himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate and timid, and they of the then shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel, and they shall go, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger. Well, you're right, too, like, the modern-day Edom is, is America. You know what I mean? It, it, this is modern-day Edom. You know, every, all the nations in the ancient world never stayed in the same spot. Like, look, look at ancient Egypt, for example. The ancient Egyptians ain't, ain't in control of Egypt no more. That's them Arabs came and took that over. So everybody don't migrate, you know what I mean? Just like the ancient Israelites ain't no longer living in the land of Israel. So all, all the nations are migrating. And Edom, you know, he, yep, Japheth don't don't stay in the islands like, well, not in the Greek islands no more. Jake and Esau, you know, push push them out out of them islands. You know what I'm saying? So even Alexander the, the Creek, when he he left his home, well, he had already left uh, Idumea, but he left Ma uh, Macedon, and he went he started uh, colonizing the whole world. You know what I mean? So that's why Esau, because Alexander was an Edomite. You can prove that by the Bible, that he was an Edomite. You know what I'm saying? Alexander didn't stay at home. He went and conquered the whole the, the whole known earth. And that's what Esau is still done to this day. So that's why America is the kingdom of Edom. Esau, Esau is Edom. But the modern day team in is New York City, Washington, D.C., Hey Dan, L.A., you know what I mean? Well, they got Basra. That was another uh, head city of Esau. The modern day Basra is, a, is in America. You know what I mean? And he, they're doing the same thing that Alexander did. They're going and conquer, trying to conquer the whole known earth. You know what I mean? They can't stay at home. Hey, this, 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 go back. We got to get back to the Obadiah. That Obadiah go in. It tells you. Don't it tell you about how he can't stay at home? Oh yeah, read this one. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So he that overcometh keepeth the, the works of Yahweh Shai unto the end. Keep going. To him I will give power over the nations. So the Lord gonna give Israel the power over the nations. And that's in the New Testament, which proves in the New Testament that the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel because he said he was gonna give us power over the nation. Now, if all nations could be saved, why would the Lord give us power over the nation? That don't make no sense. I'll, I'll go ahead with that. I need a little more this. And he shall rule with, and he shall be with, with a rod of iron, and the vessels of a pot. So they be broken. Right, so we're gonna do to break these heathens to pieces. And the scripture said we're gonna rule with a rod of iron. Did it say that we're gonna rule with you know, the hugs and kisses? You know what I mean? We're gonna rule with a rod of iron. So we're gonna, it said we're gonna break heathens like a like a like a piece of pottery. You like it takes some plates and just just shatters. You know what I mean? And that will give him the morning star. Yeah, the morning star. And that morning star that represents rulership. You know what I mean? Uh, enlightenment. Have a fear, that's what I fear. It's full of self-assuming. 
Like, uh, you know, during the Byzantine Empire, they will call the emperor, the, em the emperor of Rome, well, that was the, the so-called Christian Rome, when, when Israel, because Israel uh, uh, took over the Roman Empire. Uh, you know, going back to Constantine and all them, even though they were, they were still wicked or whatever. But Israel was taking over the Roman Empire, and they called their emperors the Morning Star. I mean, you tell Jake, though, he don't even know what Byzantine is. Ask him what the Byzantine Empire is. They do not teach the Byzantine Empire in school. They'll teach the ancient uh, uh, pagan Roman Empire, but they won't teach you about uh, the Byzantine Empire. It was located in Constantinople. I, did they teach you that in school? They not one mention of it. You got to find it out on your own. Because they don't want you to know about how Jake ruled for a thousand years or something they call the dark age they try to say we was in darkness you know for a thousand years but really that was the age of enlightenment you know like during the uh during the Byzantine empire you know the practice of usury was outlawed you know what usury is charging someone interest esau was considered a second class citizen he had no rights you know what i mean That's what it's all A lot of times they'll have them real good beats. They got them enticing beats, you know what I mean? But the lyrics just be garbage. Style. You get going off some of that, uh, what's that, what's that shit they be drinking? Some methazine, some shit, what they call it? That's crazy. They, they sipping on that syrup, mixing it with their Sprite. <laughs> so, what's some NBA players just caught all kind of heat? I forget who that was. But he said the Migos, he said Nas was whack and Migos are real rap. You heard the Migos? <laughs> nah. That's, that shit is horrible. I saw the video. That's terrible. I was talking about that shit. It was already, there's beef starting to flow with that shit, I think. It's crazy. Nah, you listen to Nas, he always, he sounds confused. He sounds like Baroness Garbage, though, but he yeah. ain't shit either. I ain't never liked him. You think he's a pharaoh? The belly? He got laid in Africa on the plane. He said the air smelled different. Well, I bet it did. I'm going back to Africa. You know, he got that old raspy voice. The best shit he did was with uh, Damian Marley. I, I like Damian Marley. Like but Damian, man, you be listening to Damian Marley, you be feeling it, man. It's Got them Heli Selassie come out of the mouth. And that conquer, they call him the conquering lion. The conquering lion of Judah is your Howard Shad, not no damn Heli Selassie. Man, they'll kill you over some Heli Selassie. Unity! They come in that unity spirit. The Lord ain't in with that unity spirit. Lord said he came to bring uh, division, not peace. Yeah, you see Damien Mar got damn uh, dreadlocks down to his feet. His hair probably weighs 50 pounds. You know, his neck strong as hell.
them Rastafaris, they be gone. You can't tell Rastafaris nothing. I don't think we never had no success with them Rastafaris. And once you believe that Haley Selassie is the Lord reincarnated, you gone. They actually say Haley Selassie is Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation. That's what they teach. And then they say that he never died. They be like, where's this grave? He had like a half an arm, he had like a little dub, and he'll beat your ass in any video game. He take that little nugget. He doing the shoulder button with one hand, he playing with a controller like this. I was amazed, bro. He'd beat your ass. Yeah, I knew he was a Tartar kid that he played the remote control backwards. Oh, yeah. Backwards. He was Everything. He was ever asked to return. He played the remote control. You know how you play it normally? Yeah. He played the remote control. Yeah. The most amazing shit I've ever seen in my life, man. I actually saw him a couple times ago. His brain must be wired. He's just slow. He's a slow nigga. Slow as shit. He's a slow as shit. Which uh, which number is that? Yeah, just for the camera, sixteen. Okay. Hey, look at that bike. Jake, Jake got to go a whole lot. Of Like a Rolls Royce motorcycle. Jake having good, man. You think the king would be with the king of the king? love his bike, man. Okay. Jake's got the treasure. That's what they're treasure for. Yep. That's the treasure for shit. Jake's got the treasure. 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 Jake's got Video with the bed, like laying in the bed. These niggas on stupid stuff, on stupid man. I'll be trolling their videos too, man. I'm marking the shit out of motherfuckers with their videos. Oh, he's dead. Oh, it's actually real. Oh, wow. I don't know. I might have seen. I've seen a lot of this shit. I feel like it was like a different Say that's how they gonna get the truth. Yeah, the more comments you leave, the more people find the channel. That's the key to the formula. Even if it's just like a little stupid, I just leave comments so they have something to click on. You know, find the channel. You know what I mean? As you get over diet, make sure the camera looks to still go. For as ye have drunk upon by holy mountain. So shall all the heathen drink continuously. They shall, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Just like Jake, you could, these motherfucking devils do. These motherfuckers are, they are the, uh, they are the ones that they don't eat. Period. Because they protest the shit in these prisons, and Esau is making them eat by putting. Yeah, they put a tooth in them. Right, right. And that's the same thing most high gonna do with these devils. They gonna make them drink. They gonna drink the dregs. <laughs> What's that spirit talking about the dregs? Right, right. I ain't brought that out in a minute. <laughs> Go ahead. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and 
the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Right, get that, all right. yeah, we're gonna possess the heathen's possessions. So all, all this gold that these devils, that these devils got their gold from us in the first place. They stole from us to begin with. Like, you know, Constantinople, going back to Constantinople, when they were sacked by the Ottoman Turks, they, you know, they lost all their, that was the richest city the earth had ever seen, was Constantinople. The richest city since the, uh, the keeping of Solomon. But the Ottoman Turks had sacked Constantinople for the year. But, uh, there's a lot of people don't know the Ottoman Turks are so-called white people, they're the Edomites. You know what I mean? And they just calling themselves Muslims. And you know, a lot of that Freemasonry and that Moor shit come back uh, from the Ottoman Empire. Uh, that's why you see the Shriners use the, uh, the crescent moon and all that. Go back to the Ottoman Empire. Uh, but the Ottomans were Edomites, they were devils. Huh? Yeah, and they took all of our gold. That was a lot of gold in Constantinople. And a little bit of gold we had in America back during World War II, right before World War II. You know, and during the Depression, Franklin D. Roosevelt, they try to say he's the greatest president ever. One of them. He had something called the, uh, what was that? When he stole everybody's gold? The Gold Act? Uh, I forget what it's called exactly. It just slipped my mind. But he put out an order that all Americans all had to turn their gold in into the federal government. And if you didn't turn your gold on, gold and you could get five years in prison so they went around confiscating everybody in the country's gold and they claimed they put it in Fort Knox and all these other but so they had literally stole all of our, our gold you know what I mean that's crazy Land of us. The ahead. cup also shall pass through unto thee. In that cup, it's talking about that cup of affliction. Right now, we sipping out that cup. That nasty. It's like we right now. It's like we drinking fucking tobacco spit. You know what I mean? Uh, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunk and thou shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity. Is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. We will no more carry thee to make this captivity. We will visit the land of the daughter of Edom. We will discover our sins. He discovered our sins. Hey, verse two said how you know uh, Esau gonna be like made naked, made naked, meaning uh, you know we will see. Cause that's a shameful thing to be seen naked. Why we making Esau naked right now? Why exposing all of his wickedness? Like you get on YouTube now, there's so many videos and channels of brothers pushing this truth. So many people exposing the lies of this devil. Oh, uh, because you know, before the internet, we didn't really have a way to even spread truth like this, you know what I mean? But now this truth is going out to the four corners of the earth, to, to that satellite system. We beaming this truth around the whole earth through the internet. They like, you know, going back uh, 20 years ago, CNN, what they call CNN, the Cartoon News Network, that was a, a well-respected news channel. Now, the word the word CNN is uh, synonymous with uh, fake news. And nobody even trusts the news no more, you know what I mean? So a lot of people waking up to the wickedness of this devil, man. It's all because you got brothers out here pushing this truth, making videos. That's funny, that's some funny shit that make news. Like nobody takes, CNN's a joke now. Nobody even watches that shit before. But it's all, it has all been exposed. I, you know, you never thought you'd see that day. If you know what people are watching, they're watching just solo artists on YouTube bringing out the news. They're watching uh, brothers like us, GMS. We got, uh, like, now you got Dabu Seven. He's a top dude. So Dabu Seven. I watched Dabu Seven before I watched some goddamn Fox News. 
be like, eyes to the sky, brother. <laughs> so, what's up? Iron. I'm familiar right there. That's why we out here. That's called captivity. Scriptures say you're not allowed to uh, charge nobody no more than 10%. Because you know, taxes evolved out of tithes when you go back in the history of it. But they charge you way over 10%. The Bible says you're supposed to give a tenth to the high priest, to the priest, and to the Levites. That's it, that's it. A tenth. Now, what do they charge in America? Taxes. Oh, man, they said, there's an article in the New York today. Yeah. They said America spent more on taxes than food and clothing combined. Like, what the fuck? I know my taxes is all fucked up. Oh, they going up locking me up over tax. That's crazy, man. Hopefully you be out here, buddy. Hopefully. <laughs> That's all you can pray to. Hey. Pray to Jesus. Be up in there. Be up in there with Lauren Hill. Pray to Jesus. Let's see what's the results from you. Pray. Pray. Pray some plans and shit. Pray to Jesus. Cause you sitting there stressing out over paying taxes. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn, yep. how am I come up with this fucking money to yep. pay this shit? Yep. Cause I got the 1099, you know what I mean? The beautiful thing is, they, uh, you, can, you can fuck with them for a while and then set up papers. Uh, that's a beauty of it. That's a secret behind it. Yeah, yeah. That's, why I, that's why I was thinking too. I'm gonna pay that shit, they ain't gonna lock wait me they, up. Wait till they fuck with you. They will lock you up. Yeah, but wait till they fuck with you. Alright. That's just some bullshit, bro. It's like, goddamn. Can I keep any of my own fucking money? You got, it ain't just taxes you got to buy. How do you get to work? You got to get a car. You get a car, you got to pay mandatory insurance. If you miss an insurance payment, the goddamn insurance company report your ass to the BMV. They'll suspend your license. To get your shit reinstated, it costs 150. Reinstatement fee. Goddamn. That's like you can't afford to pay shit. Yeah, that's crazy, ain't it? Then you gotta get taxed every year. You gotta get taxed on your birthday. A hundred goddamn dollars for tax. You got a hundred dollars a month for fucking insurance. Then you gotta buy gas. You Motherfucker, renew your license after so long. They gotta renew your. It's a fucking. It's a. It's a trap. That's a. Hey, get that over there at 18. It's gonna end all of that. Oh snap! Crackling. Yeah, that's the shit I'm going through right now. I gotta go get my insurance. I gotta get my registration.